If you want to know how to make certificates that like this in Microsoft Publisher, then watch this video and I'll show you. So we are in Microsoft Publisher. There's two ways of making certificates. I'm going to take you through the starting from scratch with a blank page, but just be aware there are already made templates on here. So you can save yourself some time by using the templates. So find the templates by clicking on more templates here. You could type in here, And there will be some ready-made templates here, which you could start with, which you could use, and then you can edit and you can change. Obviously, I want to go through the tutorial with you to show you some of the skills of using Publisher, but templates are here if you want them. So we are going to go from the front page here. I'm going to start a blank landscape page. So here's my page. I'm going to start by adding the sort of main body of the page and have those nice star border effects around the outside. That's basically a shape. So I'm going to click on shapes. I'm going to take the rectangle. I'm going to use this blue line as my guide. I'm going to drag my shape down to the far corner like that by left clicking. It's filled in with blue. Let's change the colour. Let's have it a little bit lighter. So let's have a, a paler colour. That's probably a bit too dark. Let's go for that one there. There we go. Um, let's turn off the outline for the minute. But I'm going to right click on that shape there and I'm going to go down to Format Auto Shape. And from here you can see I can play around with the colours and the size and so on. I want to go down here to where it says border art. And under border art I can choose any of these symbols and shapes and lines and so on to be my um, border. I'm going to choose that nice 3D star this time. I'm going to say OK and then OK. And it's going to put those stars around the outside of my shape. Then what we're going to do is we're going to put in some space to have the child's name. So again, I'm going to do a shape and a line. I'm going to hold down the shift key and hold down my left mouse button. That keeps it nice and straight. So there's my, my line. And I can move that if I want to to make sure it's nice and centered. When I get that pink line there, that tells me that's centered on the screen. That's lovely. Um, and I want to put in um, some text as well. So I want to have insert I'm going to draw a text box, I'm going to drag out a text box there and put in some writing. So I'm going to highlight that writing and I could obviously choose the font size like so, or I could hold down control and the right square bracket to make it bigger. I'm going to center that and center that. Again, just make sure that our box is centered by doing that. And we're going to put in some word art now to be our star of the week. So I'm going to go into insert again. I'm going to go into word art. Now I'm going to break this into two. So I'm going to have star big. And I can stretch that to make that bigger if I want to. And then I'm going to insert another word art. Like so. So that's sort of the writing underneath. Like that. I'm going to make that kind of go together like so and again let's make sure these two are centered there we go a bit too high there let's just do that to nudge it down slightly I'm going to use the arrow keys on my keyboard just to nudge that down a little bit like that uh, let's put some graphics in as well so I'm going to go to insert online pictures we're going to use some of the ready-made clip art gallery here I'm going to click on star and see what kind of star images we have got there we go so let's take maybe that star there I'm going to insert that a bit big so we can re resize put that where we want it to be on the page I'm going to just copy that and paste that so I've got two and put those there if I want to make sure they are the same height to select both of them I'm going to go to a line and I'm going to align the top to make sure they are both lined up then I'm going to put in uh, maybe some balloons. So again, insert online pictures. Let's put in our balloons. Let's take that one there. And I'm going to insert that. Again, let's bring that down. Put one there. Copy that. Paste that. Again, let's align those the tops. So they're both lined up with each other. The final thing then is we're going to put some lines down the bottom to have the date and the class teacher. So insert shapes and again I'm going to draw a line 
there. I'm going to copy and paste that because it's going to be pretty much the same line in the right place. If I wanted to add some text underneath, again I can draw underneath there. That's going to be the date. Let's center that. I'm going to copy that. Put that over there. Now what this one hasn't got at the moment, this is to be printed and you could write on this in pen. If you wanted to have some information really on there, you wanted to have the student's name before you print it, then obviously we can insert another text box that we can put their name on. So I'm going to put them in there. So I'm going to highlight that and we're going to choose maybe a brush script font and make that bigger. center it and the same thing down here for the class teacher if I wanted to I could draw a text box here for the class teacher's name to go and always have that there teacher's name in there let's make that brush script make it bigger resize it and we're done okay so that's quite quick but you can take that certificate, save that. If you wanted to use it as the children, you just change the name and print it off. If you wanted to have a whole load of just ones ready made that are just blank, you just delete that and it's there to put the name in. Okay. So publish it nice and easy. But say, don't forget, you have got uh, templates if you wanted to, and you can use the ready made templates as well. But it's sometimes quite nice to make your own from scratch just to get used to how to use Publisher. That's Publisher. Really quickly, I'll do some more videos on this soon. Hope you found it useful. Thank you very much for your time. Cheers. Goodbye.